That's Johnny Depp as John Dillinger, America's first public enemy number one, the subject of the new film by director Michael Mann. Why did you tell me that? He's a Depression-era outlaw who's been nicknamed Jack Rabbit for his many narrow getaways from police. As Dillinger's popularity increases, J. Edgar Hoover's impatience also escalates. The head of the Bureau of Investigation, played by Billy Crudup, wants to capitalize on capturing Dillinger to turn his division into the national police force that would later become known as the FBI. Hoover sends his top dog, Melvin Purvis, played by Christian Bale, to catch Dillinger. We will get him. Public enemies favor to tell the life story of Dillinger by highlighting his infamous escapes. Predictably, all the breakout scenes are directed with such flair and style that I wish the filmmakers devoted the same level of confidence in developing the characters. I don't know anything about you. That's the biggest crime the filmmakers have committed. They failed to make us empathize with the main characters. If you didn't know anything about Dillinger and his crew walking in, you really won't know a whole lot about them walking out. What else you need to know? This is what we know. The players behind this film attract great expectations. It's depth. It's bail. It's man. But as it turned out, Academy Award winner Marion Cotillard became the savior of the movie. She plays the love of Dillinger's life, Billy Frechette. We can go away on it. The first half of the movie is a bit tedious to watch, but the second half is full of fireworks, thanks to Cotillard. Other famous outlaws also make appearances. Babyface Nelson, Pretty Boy Floyd. And time and again, they have outwitted and outgunned the Hounds of Justice. Only when Purvis imports a crew of lawmen from the Dallas Bureau, is he able to close in on his prey. I'm still recommending this crime drama for its visceral energy. But if you're looking to know more about these real-life characters, just log on to Wikipedia. The performances are okay with Depp trying every trick in the book to bring compassion to his character. Bale, on the other hand, is underwritten and pedantic. But he did enjoy director Mann's command of his canvas. And Dante Espinotti's cinematography, shot in digital, every frame is staged beautifully. I'm used to that. Like a footnote to a very interesting story, Public Enemies settled on the cat and mouse game between Dillinger and Purvis. The film has a lot of great nuggets, but as a whole, the movie fell below greatness, and I really, really want this film to be great. And for that, Public Enemies gets three outlaw kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Public Enemies is just good, not great. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, Public Enemy number one. <laughs>